Hello guys, we continue to study the Adobe Premiere Pro and in this video I will show you the simplest way to save the finished video to computer. For example, we have already done everything on the timeline and now we go to the menu, file, export, media. In this lesson we will look at two ways. The first one is the simplest, we will take the preset. For this just click here and take preset like um, high quality, for example, and the size of our original video. If you don't remember what size it is, you can view it in the project window. By the way, a special lesson was recently published about him. Here is our video and its size is 90 20 by 1080 pixels. So we go back to the menu, file, export, media and take the preset high quality 1080. Here we can write the name of the final file and select the place where this video will be saved, for example just on the desktop. The expected size of the final file is indicated below and just click on export. Now the video is ready and you can watch it on your computer or upload it to your channel on YouTube for example. Now let's go to the second way. It will be convenient in the case when you want to save the video in maximum quality. For this we select the item Match Source High Bitrate. We write the name again and choose a place to save it. And here we have one important property which is called Bitrate. In simple terms Bitrate is a quality level of the final video. To understand what quality is set here, we need to look what bitrate we had in the source files. For this, we go to the folder where this original video is located, right click, properties, details. In my case, the bitrate is near 30,000 kilobit per second. It will be 30 megabit per second. Back to the render. Here we choose constant bitrate and write our number. 30 megabit. Export. The choice of bitrate depends on the quality of the sources, where you plan to use the final video, and free space on your computer. Personally, I don't recommend lowering the video bitrate below 8 or 10 megabits per second. Otherwise, the image may become bad. And of course, it makes no sense to save a video with a bitrate greater than it was in the source files. For example, I have bitrate 30 megabits and I don't have to save my video with bitrate like 50 megabits. The video will not improve. That's all for today. If you like this video, please click the like button. And of course, if you are interested in video editing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.